Hello Ride On People, this is my review of the 2018 Indian Springfield. My apologies for the poor video footage, I tried a new mounting point and it simply didn't work. However, after riding the bike, I can certainly still give you my initial impressions feedback. Starting with what the bike is, 2018 Indian Springfield is basically a chieftain but with a quick detach perspex screen instead of the backwind style fairing and it runs on slightly smaller and more agile 16 inch wheels. And according to the website, it's only currently available in Thunder Black. And its wheels, cinder head, forks and most ancillaries are fully blinged out in a thick chrome. It has a unique chrome embossed tank emblem of the Indian name on the tank. It is arguably the prettiest of the Indian bagger family. And the bike is adorned with running boards for both rider and passenger. Its seats are well padded with fairly discreet studded trim. The shape of the top opening hard saddle bags perfectly complements the curves of the rear fender. It utilises the generic 111 cubic inch Thunderstroke power unit, which is common across all the touring range. And the big V-twin uh, makes a clean crank figure of 119 pounds per feet, or 161 newton metres of torque, all made at just 3000 RPM. It wears 130 stroke 180 section tyres front to rear on its 16 inch wheels, and it sits low down with a 26 inch seat height, and it's fitted with a 5.5 gallon or 20 litre tank. Wet weight is a considerable weight, 150 pounds or 386 kilo, but that is road ready and with a full tank of fuel. Standout features include ABS, cruise control, driving lights, keyless ignition, remote locking saddlebags, tyre pressure monitors and quick release windshield. So what did I think of it? Style-wise, in my personal opinion, I think that maybe with the exception of the Chief Classic, the Springfield is the best looking bike Indian make. Finish-wise, the bike has a deep paintwork and the acres of chrome appear to be high quality. Accessory-wise, the bike I rode happened to have $5,500 worth of accessories, including machined wheels and a premium stereo, and it really did look good. Engine-wise, it's noticeably stronger and more refined than a Harley-Davidson Twin Cam 103, and I found it very similar to the uh, current Milwaukee 8 107 that Harley used generically across their bagger range. Clutch-wise, the clutch felt fairly light and had a smooth bite engagement. The gearbox is perhaps uh, not as smooth as some V and L twins from other manufacturers, but it's probably better than Harley-Davidson's on reflection. Handling wise the Springfield is the uh, the best handling bagger from Indian I feel. It's agility benefiting from the smaller 16 inch wheels and it has the sharper geometry from the Chieftain over that of the lazier um, geometry classic model. Braking wise there's decent feedback, smooth and uh, decent power. It stopped quicker than the Dark Horse. Comfort wise the standard seat is well padded some cruising pegs would help uh, in doing big miles. Controls wise, the switch gear was chunky and the mirrors were clear, but the accessory ape hanger um, handlebars fitted to my particular bike were a tad high. They were slightly above my shoulders and I stand at six foot two tall, so I'd choose slightly smaller or most probably uh, stick with the comfortable looking stock items. The clocks are functional and pretty clear. Uh, and in terms of value, the $20,999 entry price, I guess, is pretty fair compared with its comp, uh, you know, closest competition. And that would be of, of probably the, the uh, Indian's own Chieftain and certainly Harley-Davidson's Road Glide, which this bike is clearly aimed at. In summary, Indian continued to push Harley-Davidson hard in a tumultuous time for sales activity. They are beating Harley Davidson on the dirt track ovals and now in sales improvement trains too. Next they will be seeking greater slices of the dominant ownership pie that Harley currently enjoys. Indian is a cool brand and the Springfield is arguably the coolest in the current lineup. 
If I was to buy an Indian this weekend, I would uh, certainly buy a Springfield Limited, I think. In my very humble personal opinion, I think it's the best bike that they currently make. So there you go, that's my summary of the 2018 Indian Springfield. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe, uh, please like, please share. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to ride often, ride carefully, ride on.